Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. Uh, Friday afternoon, June 26th. This is the little two acre piece up here in front of my house. And it looked pretty good. But that rain did something for me as well as saving the beans. Uh, water hemp, my number one nemesis on this farm. It got a long germination period. And as I pulled the truck up here and stepped out and looked down right here, there's one of them. And it broke. So let's see if I can get over there a little closer. Get down there. Still pulls good. Ground's still plenty wet. You can see that dark soil. That's a lot of moisture in it. But uh, I'm not letting this stuff stay in my field and make seed. So I'm out here to work on the mess over here uh cousin scott and i were out here the other night it's right funny this field knolls over i was over here on this side working took a break went down to the shop to get something to drink and from the shop i could see across that ridge line and i kept seeing something white popping up and down and cousin scott bless his heart he was over there in that corner pulling water hemp so uh, I went around there and joined him and we teamed up and we got into this together and right about here yeah that's the row from here on over to there we pulled it out we had a pickup truck load and I see one or two in here that have popped up and got seed tops on them but if I <coughs> kneel down <coughs> And look, I got the glasses on, and look across the field. You can see how much of it across there has popped up in here. That's late germinate, germinated uh, way after I sprayed. And the rain hit it, and boom, this stuff will grow four to six inches a day. It's, it's incredible. If I can get that... Uh, spray rig I'm looking at at Agri Supply. It's got a 30 foot wide boom on it. And that's a whole lot more than the little spray rig I've been using all these years. I'm hoping that that's going to be my equipment purchase uh, this winter. I wanted to get it this year, but I had to get some work done on my teeth. So the dentist got that money. And who's beating on what over there? Sounds important. Anyhow, let me get to work out here and we'll see how much of this we can get out of here before it gets dark. We'll take a look at the tailgate later on. Everybody, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, Soybean Farmer, and watching my videos. We'll be okay. back. I'm breathing heavy. I'm a little bit out of breath. I've been going at it steady now for, I don't know, I don't have a watch on. <laughs> but anyhow, there's my harvest. I got me a tailgate load. And this one right here, that's the winner today. That's the super stock. That's the combine killer. That's the one that if he'd been left in the field, you would not have, uh, you would not driven the combine over that. <laughs> it would have stopped it. But uh, it's pulling easy. Ground still got a lot of good moisture in it. So it's coming out easy. And I have made quite satisfactory progress well pleased with myself and noticing as I walk through this pulling up the stuff that's you know sticking up above the uh, plants and especially what's got seed on it there's a lot of small stuff down in the rows that's uh, going to come on up so I think tomorrow before I go to work I'm going to come out here with the backpack and that wonderful stuff called Liberty and walk these rows and spray that little stuff and kill it yeah a lot less work but uh just got to be real careful not to spray what's got seed on it that'll sure ruin the herbicide program well this is july 26th and that's what the beans look like up here i've been thinking this thing through and this field got planted a month earlier this year than it did last year. And 
the different conditions uh, last year. Plenty of water, got a whole lot better germination. If you remember the video where everything was so thin and spotty and sparse when I was spraying this field right along in here, there's a lot of open uh, space in there for weeds to come up in. Plants are bushing a little bit to try to fill it in, but uh, these are not bush type beans. They don't don't bush a whole lot. But uh, I'm pleased. Get back out here in the morning and get some more done. Everybody, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.